Right now, we want to talk to the uh, political side of health care. Republican Tim Pawlenty officially launched his campaign for president today in Iowa, and he has a message to match the times. The former Minnesota governor says he'll tell hard truths to the American people. So what would this mean for health care in a Pawlenty administration? We are joined right now from Washington by Bloomberg government policy analyst Christopher Flavel. And Chris, let's talk a little bit about Governor uh, Pawlenty when he was governor of Minnesota from 2003 to 2009. What was his approach to health care? So Tim Pawlenty really stands apart from the other Republicans running for president. Uh, he's the only candidate who can meaningfully claim to have cut health care spending while he was governor. Uh, he slashed one program entirely, replaced with a smaller one. So the spending growth on health care in Minnesota was slower than in other states. Uh, and, and that's something that Republicans might want to hear right now. Hey, what, what was the effect of his policy on doctors, on patients, on hospitals here? What, what are we hearing about uh, the results of what we've seen? Sure. So, of course, one of the ways he cut spending was by cutting the amounts that doctors and hospitals got in return for treating patients on Medicaid and other state programs. Uh, now, Bloomberg government talked to associations in Minnesota representing doctors and hospitals. They don't have terribly kind words uh, for what Governor Plenty did. Now, again, that may be a positive thing because Republicans may decide they want someone in Washington who can actually stand up and cut this spending. Chris, I want to get to one contentious issue, and that is that individual mandate requiring every American to buy coverage. It's definitely been the subject of litigation uh, over the Obama mil, uh, bill. What does Tim Pawlenty have to say about that specifically? Yes, it's interesting. In, in 2007, Tim Pawlenty convened a, a very impressive panel of business leaders, health care leaders, uh, sort of the smartest people in Minnesota on health care. And he said, give me a plan that will let me cut costs and expand access. A few months later, they report back and they say, we've got a plan, we want you to do all these things, and in particular, we want you to impose a mandate, a requirement that all state residents have insurance. Now, what's interesting is Tim Pawlenty initially didn't have a response. He seems like he thought about it for a while and eventually said no, but certainly there was a period where it looked like that might be in the cards. Fast forward to today, Tim Pawlenty now says that a mandate of any kind doesn't make sense. It's, of course, the centerpiece of the Obama law, uh, so that might be an issue for him. Does Pawlenty's plan change things for health care as a political issue when we come to uh, the race for president as far as the Republican side of things? Yeah, very much so. You could almost say that if, if Republicans want an anti-Mitt Romney, then at least on health care, Tim Pawlenty could be as good as it gets. Uh, this guy focused like a laser on cutting costs, just as other governors, Mitt Romney and also John Huntsman of Utah, focused more on expanding access with some look at costs. So again, if Republican primary voters are looking right now for someone who is all about cutting spending, that's what Tim Pawlenty did in Minnesota. Now, we should say the result of that was the number of people in Minnesota who didn't have insurance went up under Pawlenty, whereas it went down under Mitt Romney. So it's not, of course, a free lunch. Mm. People people lost something for this, but for Republicans, that might be what they want. Got to run. Chris, thank you so much.